Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Autodesk PLM 360. In this tutorial we're going to cover understanding workflow within PLM. So first we're going to log in. Now I'm logged in as an administrator. Uh, to do this you could actually log in as any one of the users because from this tutorial's perspective we're going to look at how to use workflow, uh, how does it show up, how does it affect milestones, etc. In another tutorial we'll cover the back end, the administration, and the setup of workflow. So to begin understanding workflow, we're going to actually go to the end of workflow or where it rolls up to. We're going to see how workflow ultimately provides real value to the entire system. So we're going to go to project management. Within project management, I'm going to select any uh, top level project that we have here and click on the schedule tab. Schedule tab has actually been renamed from the project management tab. And if we get a little bit more real estate here, you can see that this is a complete project management rollup of other items in the system. In this case, here's a new introduction, here's a task. Uh, down here we have another project. And over here, this timeline, this Gantt chart, gives us an idea of all of the tasks, everything that we're tracking for this particular project. But ultimately, the values here, the start and end, all of this is ultimately based off of workflow states and milestones that are in the individual tasks. So let's take a closer look. So here we are at a new product introduction item. This is for an LED flashlight. If we take a look at the details tab and we just take a minute and collapse all these up you'll see that this new product introduction has a conceptualization, investigation, planning, and execution phase. Pretty straightforward. We note that we also have a Milestones tab. And looking at the Milestones tab, we can see that the author of this particular item put in stage gates, toll gates, put in basically a, a, a target date milestone of when we would hit investigation, conceptualization, planning, and closeout. So it follows with the NPI Details tab. Now what's driving all of this? What's driving the, you note know, the completion over here, and also um, red, green, and yellow, uh, dates alerting you as to how many you know days before, days after you have uh, actually hit that state. What's driving all of this is the workflow. Two ways you can look at workflow. Oh, let's back up. Right up here, we see I can I know that this is complete because we have a state completed up here. The other way, if you just go over to the workflow actions, go to the drop down caret and select show map. I'll grab a little bit more real estate here it will show you the entire map for this particular workspace. So rule number one, each workspace can have its own workflow and it can be as elaborate or as simple as you want. This is the workflow for new product introductions. Now you think, well, but I could use that in other places. That's fine. We have ways to copy this over and reuse it if we want. But right now this is the one that's been decided for this new product introduction at a company. So it's a very good sample to look through. You'll notice that Gate 1, so the word review, conceptualization, planning, planning down here, and finally execution. Well, that correlates with the sections on the NPI details. It also correlates with milestones. So everything comes together rather nicely. So let's take a look at um, some of the other places where this can, uh, can assist us. And we'll go through actually a, a new, new new product introduction and, uh, and go through the workflow. All right, so closing down the workflow map, let's actually go over and take a look at the workflow actions tab because this is where everything actually happens. When you want to submit to the next stage, when you want to reject or put something on hold, this is the tab uh, that you have to enable and this is the tab that you go to from, um, in this case, I'm on a laptop and you could go to it from any device and submit workflow. You can uh, answer the workflow questions uh, right within this tab. Note that since we are completed, there is no save step and there's no other information except a, uh, a timeline uh, descending showing you everything that was done. So we can see it was created down here and we have final approval up at the top which means that this is completed. So let's go and create a new one. Now we do have the ability to create a brand new new product introduction but I'm going to come over here and choose to clone. Clone allows us a couple things. It allows us to hit the ground running perhaps clone any existing attachments. In this case I'm going to clone the milestones. This will save us a little time in setting up milestones just for this example. Next I'll give it a title 
and I'll take it up a notch and I'll say, well, this will be a waterproof LED flashlight, new product introduction, new market entrance. Down here, I'll choose my team members and required approvers. I'll go and choose uh, myself and uh, project manager Paul. Down here, I'll do this. Now, th another thing to note, these are different phases. These phases are grouped into sections. Inside of the item details, we have sections that are in logical order. In this case, in a new product introduction, we have the investigation, the planning. Each one of these phases has a has a, a certain delineation, so it's, it's in a particular order. This NPI workspace is nice because it follows the workflow and it follows the milestones, so it's a it's a good story to tell. So I would encourage you to take a look at this inside of your tenant. This is going to be one of the default apps that we ship with. And you're free to change these fields, change anything about this, but it's a great place to start. I'll leave the rest of the information in here and click on Save. All right, here's our brand new NPI. Now note that I have, the, I have this collapsed over to save a little bit of real estate, but here's our uh, NI2, our waterproof flashlight. You'll note a couple of things. The state right now is set up in progress, which is true. We are just beginning and just setting out, but you'll notice that the uh, the flag is red. Well, why? It's because we cloned milestones, and those milestones might have old dates to that. So the first thing that I suggest, yikes, look at this. So the first thing I suggest is adjusting the milestones to something that applies to this project, something a little bit more realistic. Let's do that first, then we'll get into the workflow. So the next step, click on the Edit button, and Edit will take us in. Here are all of our cloned milestones, and these pertain to particular workflow states within, the, uh, within this workspace. Since these dates are old and we've cloned this, one of the options we have is to select up here, and what we're going to do, we're going to shift all of these 60 days. and Watch the target date shift. There, that's a little bit better. Click on Save. And we're suddenly feeling much better about the target dates. Looks like we have some time until we're done with uh, all of the information on this waterproof LED flashlight. A couple other things to take note. So we said by this date, we should hit Gate, review, uh, gate 1 Review. So Milestone Event Waiting. When you see this stopwatch, it means that the Basically, the, the clock is running. It's waiting. When we hit that milestone, in other words, when we enter that state or leave that state, we'll have a checkbox here, just like we had in the other NPI. All right, let's begin the process of pushing this through workflow. Now that we have cloned it and we're not at the end, we're actually at the beginning, when we come to the Workflow Actions tab, we'll actually see the ability to go in, go to drop down, and start Phase 1. So you might have a couple of different workflows depending on the uh, the workspace and how you configure out the workflow. You might just have one depending on answers uh, and, and other things from uh, the details tab and other factors. But in this case, let's just get it going. Choose the state you'd like to enter. Click on Save Step. Okay. Now if I take a look right now at the map. You can see I was set up in progress. Now I'm in progress investigation. So it's it's moved forward. Notice that in the workflow we have some, think of these as sticky notes that we can put on here. And this helps both you and your users and everybody that partakes in this. It helps everybody along understanding, in this case, only team members selected as part of the team can advance the workflow. So this means that other people that might log in, maybe they can see it they don't have the rights to advance the workflow. They wouldn't actually see the ability to do this. They could see the map, but they would not be able to partake in it unless we went to the Details tab and went to Edit and added them in as people that are part of the team in the approvals. So before we go too much further on this, let's take a step back. Remember where we started in Project Management. I'm going to come to the Project Management tab I'll go to Project 1. We'll come into the schedule. And just as we had New Product Introduction 1, I'm going to add this NPI over here and basically add this to the, uh, the entire project, add this to the timeline. 
Now with the new NPI number two added, it will add it down to the list. It's in row seven down here. We also get the duration. We get the current state, the current phase, the percentage complete. And yes, it shows over here as part of the Gantt chart. And now it's part of this project. To get right back to it, this is a nice feature. We can select right on it and it'll take us back to our NPI. All right. Now we're back here, let's take a look at the milestones. We need to leave the gate one review investigation. Let's come over to workflow actions. Let's submit it first to gate review. Save that step. And with that step saved, we can see that we are now at gate one review in the investigation phase up here in the state. And if we take a look at the map, we'll see that we're here in the, uh, the yellow box. And this NPI is now on its way for approval all the way down to the bottom uh, to being completed. Now the next couple steps are going to be interesting. Since we are here at gate one review, notice that we have this approve and it's a loopback onto its own state. What that means is if I set this to approve right now, save step, you'll note that the uh, ability to approve that any further or fast track it or any other stages are actually gone for my workflow. What it means is I've taken part in that particular workflow. We are still at gate one review, but we don't have anything else at this point to do. Now why is that? Take a look back on the NPI details tab. You'll recall during the clone of that other NPI to create this one, we chose other team members and other people to come in and approve. So in order to advance this further in the workflow, we're going to need to log in as those other people and, uh, and advance it to the next stage. So finally, let's take a look at that workflow. We'll log out and log in as project management. So coming over to the new product introduction, I'm going right to that waterproof LED new product intro, selecting the workflow actions tab, we can see that project manager has the ability to move this to the next stage to final approval. Let's save this step and we'll move it forward. 